Hello. On behalf of the Graduate School, I want to welcome students, faculty, staff, family, friends, and other special guests to this virtual celebration of our 2020-2021 PhD graduates. To our graduates, we know you would prefer to celebrate in person. We do as well. And we are exploring ways to make that happen in the future. The pandemic may prevent us from celebrating in person today, but it cannot diminish the significance of your accomplishment. If anything, the fact that you overcame the disruptions of the past year to finish your PhD offers an even stronger testament to your commitment, adaptability, and perseverance. All of these qualities will serve you well on the next leg of your journey. The next time you run into a seemingly intractable problem or some unforeseen set of circumstances, you can look back on your PhD experience and reassure yourself, I can do this. I have done it. Let us look at what you have accomplished. You have attained the highest scholastic degree one can receive. You have become an expert in your area of research, and you probably know more about your topic than your faculty advisor does at this point. You have developed a robust, versatile set of analytical and critical thinking skills that will help you no matter which career path you pursue. You have added to the sum of knowledge about our world. Those are impressive accomplishments, but no one can achieve them alone. Graduate school may feel like a solitary undertaking at times, but no one can complete that journey without the support of others, whether it is family and friends, faculty mentors, supportive staff, fellow students, or someone else who helped you in a time of need. If you are celebrating with any of them today, whether in person or virtually, I hope you will take a moment to thank them for the role they played in your success. No matter where your journey takes you from here, stay connected to Duke. Take full advantage of the Duke Alumni Network. Come back for alumni events. Stay engaged with your program in the graduate school. Give future students the kind of support, insights, and opportunities that you received from those who came before you. Looking ahead to your life after Duke, I hope you will find ways to use what you have learned here to not only make a difference in your field, but also in our broader society. As we have witnessed in just this past year, our world is besieged by pressing issues, climate change, racism, misinformation, gaping inequality, political polarization, just to name a few. These problems are complex and daunting, but you were trained to solve complex and daunting problems. The world needs your knowledge and skills now more than ever. So as you embark on the next stage of your life, I am hopeful not only for your success, but also for the good that you will contribute to our society with the training and knowledge that you have gained at Duke. Speaking of contributing to society, it is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. George C. Wright, this year's recipient of the Graduate School's Distinguished Alumni Award. This award recognizes graduates of Duke PhD programs who have rendered outstanding service to their fields of endeavor, to Duke, and to society in general. Dr. Wright was the first African American and the second black student to earn a history PhD at Duke. After receiving his doctorate, he went on to a long and distinguished career as a scholar of African American history, a faculty member at multiple institutions, including Duke, and an administrator, including a 14-year tenure as president of Prairie View A&M University, where he led the institution through a number of significant expansions. One of the defining traits of Dr. Wright's career has been his commitment to pave the way for others and to give them the kind of opportunities that he received. In fact, that was one reason he became an administrator after nearly two decades as a very successful faculty member. Dr. Wright has also been a committed supporter of graduate education at Duke, as shown by his service on the Graduate School Board of Visitors. We are so honored to have him be a part of today's event and offer a few words of advice and encouragement to our graduates. Congratulations. I want to commend all of you for completing your graduate degrees. I know how that feels. I vividly remember completing my PhD at Duke University in 1977. 
I was very thankful to my fellow classmates, to my professors who had helped me in so many ways, and to my family, to my mother, my sisters and brothers, my in-laws, and above all, my wife, Valerie Ellison Wright. Valerie and I had married as undergraduates at the University of Kentucky in 1970. When I was in graduate school at Duke, she was the primary breadwinner, and in addition to that, her writing and editing skills greatly assisted my dissertation. In short, my obtaining a PhD degree was not mine alone, but many others had helped me reach that goal. I want to give you some advice. To be successful, of course you need to work hard, set goals, sacrifice, be consistent in doing your job. But at the same time, it's important that you have balance in your life, that whatever is important to you, family, recreational activities, or whatever they are, you should also have a life away from work. I've just now given you some advice that I did not take in 1977. After I obtained my degree, I was convinced that I no longer had time for social activities, for recreational activities, as much as I love sports and even going to church. I, a newly minted PhD, said all of these things took too much time away from my job. Several months later, however, after I had started working as a beginning assistant professor, my wife, Valerie, said it was time for us to start a family. I said to her, well, let's not do that. Instead, let's get a goldfish or a cat. Valerie prevailed. Our daughter, Rebecca, was born in 1979. About 18 months later, I accepted a new position at the University of Texas at Austin, and we moved to Austin, Texas. But during my first two years there, I traveled back to Lexington, Kentucky to continue my research on race relations in Kentucky. I made 12 different trips because Valerie's job work meant she worked odd hours. It was better for Rebecca to travel with me and stay with members of our family. Traveling with my daughter proved to be quite an experience. From the moment the plane took off, she did not like to sit down. And so I would have to stand up and hold her. On two occasions, she threw up. Now, I carried extra clothes for her, but she threw up all over me, and I had no change of clothes. I used to wonder back then what it must be like to just sit on a plane, read a book, or take a nap. But guess what, graduates of 2021? My daughter and I truly bonded. We developed a close relationship. We learned to joke about many different things. So in addition to doing my work, spending time with my daughter became very precious, very important. In 1989, my wife said she was running out of time for us to have a second child. I said, oh no, Rebecca's enough. Instead of a second child, why don't we get a dog? And we already had a dog, but my dog didn't know she was a dog. Once again, Valerie prevailed. Our son, Benjamin, was born in 1980. When he was in the sixth grade, a very important event occurred. My wife, Valerie, a newspaper reporter, was on assignment in New York City. Uh, I had to spend the whole weekend with Benjamin and Rebecca starting that Thursday. Well, on Friday, while I was at work preparing to give a major speech, I received a phone call from Benjamin's school informing me that he had thrown up. I don't know what it is about my children. 
Uh, I said to the nurse, I'm so sorry, and I hung up the phone. The nurse called me back immediately and said, you don't understand, you have to come and pick him up. I said, ma'am, I can't do that. I'm very busy. I'm about to give a major speech. Well, guess what? I had to go and pick up my son, and we spent the whole day at home. Indeed, we had the whole weekend, and that too turned out to be extremely important. Graduates, here's the point I'm trying to make. In addition to pursuing your career, for me, it turned out to be just as important in spending time with my family and how enjoyable, how memorable that turned out to be. My wife, Valerie, and I, we've been together for 50 years and nine months. Wonderful time. My daughter, Rebecca, and I only had 24 years to be together before she passed away. And my son, Benjamin, and I have had all sorts of experiences because I would take him to libraries with me. And this led to him as a young child going to libraries all over the world. Graduates. That was a revelation for me that I could pursue both a career and a family life. So I encourage you, whatever's important to do that. I also had another revelation that's it, that is important as it was for me to pursue an administrative track, a professor track. The reason was, was not just for myself, not just for my family, but to be in a position to help other people. Our degrees are not just for us alone. It's for us to make sure that other people have opportunities, that we do something to make the world better, especially the part of the world that we live in. I wish all of you the best, graduates of Duke University 2021. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Wright. And now, to recognize our PhD graduates, Senior Associate Dean John Klingen Smith will call out each graduate's name by program. You can see a full list of the names on our commencement website at celebrate.gradschool.duke.edu. Once again, Congratulations. Thank you, Dean McLean. It's a great pleasure for me to present the 2020-2021 PhD graduates. I've met many of these students over their years at Duke, and I have seen their great efforts and persistence, particularly through the many challenges of the pandemic this past year. I'm thrilled that they have reached one of the greatest milestones in the life of a scholar. I will now call the names of graduates in alphabetical order within their doctoral departments and programs. Art, Art History and Visual Studies, Kaylee P. Alexander, Patricia Barclay Bass, Biochemistry, Grace Ann Beggs, Brittany Justine Bisnett, Brett Matthew Condon, Benjamin Andrew Fenton. Sun Kang Le. Chu Fong Hai Li. Emily Josephine McFadden. Anthony Nguyen. Nicole Orange Rivera. Yong Sua, Yue Huang, Ying Yin, Biology, Irene Ting Lao, Brian Thomas Piatkowski, Songhui Zhao, Matthew Evan Newton Zippel. Biomedical Engineering. Brene Marie Bent. Brian Robert Bigler. Luath Bishawi. 
Shahan Shah. Courtney Eileen Cox. Christopher Paul Eckersley. Bradley Feiger. Cassio Mendez Fontes. Kelly Margaret Hainline. Liad Holtzman. Jun Jian. Cambre Nicole Kelly. Sean Hunter Kelly. Young Jun Kim. Megan Kathleen Madonna. Robert Allen Moorhart. Corinne Neef. Han Song Park. Robin Chan. Ellen Elizabeth Salmon. Somea Sultanian Zeta. Zachary Andrew Steelman. Asley Zainab Unal. Jason Wong. Feilun Wu. Biostatistics and Bioinformatics. Zhang Hao Li. John Andrew Pura. Tongrong Wang. Business Administration. Amy Michaela Chabot. Sudipta Chakraborty. Jing Huang. J. M. Tatiana Michelle Luent. Leah Shear. Young Sun Song. Tian Zhao Tong. Cell Biology. Anji Chen. Manuela Rosette Clark Cotton. Jamie Nicole Garcia. Laura Grace Peterson. Leyao Shen. Adam Schaffner. John Dalen Thompson. Susan Elizabeth Wopath. Chemistry. Nathan Joseph Adamson. Suraj Kumar Ayer. George Erastus Bullard. Zhihao Chen. Seyong Cho. Casey Lynn Collins. John Gustav Gainley. Anna Catherine Hastat. Abigail Caitlin Jackson. Zhao Chi Long. Renzu Ma. Kelsey Teresa Morgan. Peter Adrian Novello. Shuyan Ru. Yu Shu. Pei Chen Yang. Jacqueline Marie Sengo Baron. Civil and Environmental Engineering. 
Nabil Michel Atala. Mashi Egdami. Stuart Ryan Farley. Jonathan Riggs Holt. Brandon Hunter. Faye A. Konigsmark. Christopher Luke Crapper. Lucas Roca Malagno. Clay Michael Sanders. Carolina Segui. Tongshu Zheng. Classical Studies. Adrian Carl Lindenhigh. Courtney Michelle Monahan. Computational Biology and Bioinformatics. Debraj Ghos. Laney Elizabeth Happ. Jingkong Zhao. Computational Media Arts and Cultures. Evan Michael Donahue. Sinan Chem Gochner. Osgun Ailul Eisen. Max Simuleski. Computer Science. Riza Alajani. Ramin Bashazadi. Shunyang Gao. Stavros Sintos. Tianyu Wang. Alan Shao. Yuanjun Yao. Rui Yi Zhang. Cultural Anthropology. Khan Evren. Matthew Ryan Sebastian. Earth and Ocean Sciences. Rachel Mary Lee Coit. Kimberly Laverne Elizabeth Druin. Luya Ru. June Yukita Shepherd. Benjamin Wilson Wernett. Enrico Zorzetto. Ecology. Lauren Nicole Carley. Alice Marie Carter. Jacqueline Rebecca Gerson. Brittany Lauren Morgan. Emily Ann Uri. Economics. Michael Boutros. Jackson Bunting. Ray Chen, Tian Cheng Chen, Xiao Yu Chen, Yan Yu Chen, Daniel G. Garrett, Attila Getvai. Taihoon Kim. Andrea Kiss. Jonathan Ronnie Moreno Medina. Dua Lin Tia Nguyen. Rachel Claire Sayers. Vitaltus Vilaitis. Alessandro Tenzin Villa. Andrew Stuart Vollmer. 
Zhu Shi Zhang. Electrical and Computer Engineering. Jorge Antonio Cardenas. Ashgirl Chapfua. Fan Chen. Li Chun Chen. Feng Yu Cheng. Aaron Vincent Dipole. Rana Osama Abdulela Gaber Elnagar. Spencer David Ferguson. Bohao Huang. Yu Chen Lin. Meng Yun Liu. Jia Chen Mao. Yi Chen Mao. Vaishaki Maya. Stephen Gary Noyce. Mikhail Shalayev. Chong Song. Linghao Song. John William Stewart. Tasso Ada von Winheim. Raul Vias. Diji Wang. Fan Wang. Nicholas Xavier Williams. Wade Mitchell Wilson. Callie Marie Woods. Chung Pong Wu. Bonan Yan. Chao Fei Yang. Ching Yang. In Song Yu. Run Ren Zhang. Zhang Yu Zhang. Zhang Wei Zhang. English. Gregory Ryan Brennan. Devin Jane Buckley. Chandler Thomas Fry. Rachel Allison Gevlin. Justin David Mitchell. Miles Oldershaw. Stoney Lee Portis. Claire Elise Ravenscroft. Robert William Tate. Environment. Lin Chan Hu. Amelia Claire Meyer. Saad Murad. Matthew Ruiz. Rose Sabrina Schrott. Anna Merrill Wade. Environmental Policy. Hussein Abdulralf Al Shamasi. Kathleen Claire Hansen. Wu Meng He. Chingron Li. Evolutionary Anthropology. Ariana Rose Harrington. Zane Shea Swanson. Genetics and Genomics. Diana Monique Gamble. Jonathan P. Caston. 
Stephen Kenneth Sisinski. Martine Y. Yang Tremblay. Amy Catherine Webster. Carolina Duke, Graduate Program in German Studies. Leah Helena Greenberg. Adana Ann Kleinhans Junghan. History. Michael John Becker. Erasmo Castellani. Tom J. St. Mars. Aaron Gregory Colston. Elsa Celestina Costa. Robert Franco. Gray Fielding Kid. Hannah Margaret Ontiveros. Thomas Ryan Prendergast. Jonathan Taylor Sapp. Immunology. Laura Sun Christian Resley. Lindsay Carvalho de Hora. Joel Thomas Finney. Colleen Michelle McLean. Jinshan Wu. Literature. Shunan Chow. Jessica F. Gockberg. Marine Science and Conservation. Kevin Charles Bierlich. Alejandro J. Garcia Lozano. Hilary Suzanne Smith. Seth Thomas Sikora Bodhi. Zhao Wang. Chen Yi Wu. Mathematics. Ursula Antonietta Capovia Searle. Gabriel Joseph Earl. Eric Jeffrey Hopper. Xiang Ying Huang. Oliver Kelsey Tuff. Didong Li. Zhao Shen. Kevin Deemer Stubbs. Li Han Wang. Zhu Huang. Xin Xiang. Yi Yu Zhang. Mechanical Engineering and Material Science. Brian William Allen. William Lucas Calkins. Chu Yi Chen. Yu Yang Gu. Brian Hyung Jong Lee. Danny Levin. Du Fei Lao. Mengqian Liu, Shusheng Luo, Matthew Benjamin Tucker, Natalia Karina von Windheim, Shihao Wang, Shushi Wang. Chris Wiedenheft. Yawen Xu. Wen Shi Yu. Peiran Zhang. 
Medical Physics Yu Shi Chang Jocelyn Mary Hoy Leith John Rankine Taylor Brunton Smith Wen Tao Wang Li Jia Zhang Molecular Cancer Biology Moyes Ali Mark Shua Chen Drake Scott Edwards Douglas Bingham Fox Taylor Kelly Krebs Amy Jiayue Petty Amy Jordan Wisdom Molecular Genetics and Microbiology Alejandro Luis Antonia Hannah Elizabeth Brown Matthew Robert Detter Kyle Dane Gibbs Alfred Theodore Harding Michael James McFadden Nicole Stanshaw Albert John Music Meredith Claire Graham Karen Elaine Hovey Messina Maxwell Colin Ramage Harrison Basil Russin Neurobiology Jonathan Singh Alvarado Tyler W. Bradshaw Timothy Ryan Darlington Bryson Keith Deanhart Maxwell Harrison Gillett Tui Hua Kaylee Jane Burris Lane Joshua Jean McCopson Jones Kirsten Ruda Sean Michael Willett Nursing Nicole Dominique Calhoun Brian James Duthit Gabrielle Maxine Harris Walker Matthew Roger LeBlanc Chi Young Lee Yufan Lin Jacqueline Nickpour Jacqueline Vaughn Kristen Joanne Massel Wainwright Robin Catherine Wojcik Esau Yang Pathology Suzanne Elise Bartolf DeWitt Byron William Hayes Pharmacology Shi Chi Li Madeline Graham Sell Philosophy Hannah Bondurant Tim Burkhart Joseph Richard Nelson Eric Gerard Sam Physics Christian Moritz Binder Douglas Raymond Davis 
Dripto Mazumdar de Broy. Min Yu Feng. Xiao Meng Jia. Pat Kong James Leung. Sha Ching Li. Ronald Charles Malone. Justin Lee Rayburn. Surav Sen. Chishin Chen. Hirshdeep Singh. Shin Zhang. Yu Chen Zhao. Political Science. Robert Philip Allred. Wu Yang Cho. Spencer Stephen Dorsey. Dean Gerard Cabana Dulay. Brian Guay. Luis Miguel Girola. Ida Bake Hermitsleff. Christopher Scott Kennedy. Gabriel James Madsen. Su Min O. Oh. Kristen Michelle Renberg. Hannah Morgan Sigurdsson Ridge. Jason Douglas Todd. Tu Si Wen. Psychology and Neuroscience. Christina Helene Bijani. Karina Lee Locke. Alexander David Stein Breslov. Tracy C. Darbalov. Elsa Ann Fries. Brian Nathaniel Hughes. Namsu Kim. Alfong E. Lee. Kelsey Ray McDonald. Allison Elizabeth Meyer. David Lazar Kalinick Murphy. Matthew Stanley. Alyssa Newman Van Denberg. Peter Whitehead. Walter Wolf. Brenda Wei Young. Paula Catherine Shute Eust. Public Policy. Sarah Harrington Cross. Francisco Meneses. Emily Kathleen Rains. Religion. Torang Asadi. Adam David Patrick Booth. Brad Boswell. Emily Zilda Duby. Michael Remedios Grigoni. Christopher William Howell. Ryan Michael Juskus. David Solomon Orenstein. Romance Studies. Roger David Dulcini. Kathleen Kelsey Maximuk. Tessa Ashlyn Nunn. Filippo Scripanti. 
Anna Catherine Typinko. Sociology, Andrew Carr. Kevin Robert Kiley. Miles S. Marsala. Jessica Sales West. Statistical Science. Erica Lynn Cunningham. Federico Ferrari. Bai Lee. Jialiang Mao. Austin Brian Talbot. Shushi Zhang. And that's all of Duke's 2021 PhD graduates. Congratulations to them all. And now back to Dean McLean. Thank you, Dean Kling and Smith. Our ceremony is drawing to a close, but before we go, I want to send my sincere thanks to Senior Associate Dean Jacqueline Looney and her team in Graduate Student Affairs for developing our commencement celebration amid the disruptions and ever-evolving restrictions and guidelines. I also want to thank all of my graduate school colleagues, as well as all the faculty and staff in our graduate programs for their hard work supporting our students, especially through the unprecedented challenges of the past year. Finally, congratulations again to all of our 2020-2021 PhD graduates. Good luck and take care.